Evil Level 100. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and in my hand I've got an IKEA dimmer. And uh, if you remember, I've been talking about IKEA on um, smart home devices uh, early on and the reason why this light sh shines red is because I am keep twisting the dimmer around to kind of showcase it to you. And now obviously this is not an IKEA light and this is what we're going to talk about, how to link a IKEA remote controls with uh, different controls at your home that aren't exactly IKEA brand. So what I've done is link this using uh, Zigbee 2 MQTT and uh, CC5, sorry, CC2531 uh, USB sniffer. And I'm going to show you how to uh, replicate exactly the same behavior as you would uh, get from linking this to an IKEA bulb. So uh, I guess I'm gonna sh show you how it works in a short showcase and then I'll walk you through my Node Red flow. This is IKEA Dimmer and it works with this Zemi Smart Zigbee light over Zigbee to MQTT protocol running on Node Red. So let's give it a go. The light is actually quite bright, so let's go full, full brightness. That's the full brightness, and let's switch it off. I will assume that you have already linked and paired the dimmer with your MQTT sniffer, um, and it's all set up in Zigbee to MQTT. So let's uh, take a look at the node red and see how it exactly works. First, a short experiment. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to go to current flow, clear all the debug messages, and I have this payload in here, which I'm going to talk about. Now, when you start touching your um, dimmer, you'll see that the MQTT will start flooding this information and uh, unfortunately that rate is too quick so we have to do something to actually limit the rate and only pass information that we need so what i've set up is rbe node which basically is going to block values unless the values has changed to avoid the duplicates and then i use the delay uh, node in a rate limit to only set two messages per second which is more than enough to provide really nice experience so let's uh, enable this disable this and if you were wondering, uh, the setup for this is I have a default topic for now, which is Zigbee to MQTT, followed by the name of your um, device. So in this case, it's Dimmer 1. And also, if you don't have a JSON yet, because you've not updated, I have a version 20 uh, of Node-RED, you might not have this field. So feel free just to drop the JSON um, node, which is this one. So you could parse your object as a JSON. All right, so uh, we've enabled, disabled this uh, debug, debug message, we enabled this one, and let's take a look at the same situation when I'm trying to flood the information. As you can see, this is much better rate right now, and the information will change and submit uh, that uh, brightness levels to the light without overflowing and causing any problems. Now, this is not a mandatory step, but I've also noticed that uh, um, this is much more reliable and more responsive so by default the message containing brightness comes as a message payload dot brightness and i'm actually not sending it any uh, differently to the mqtt out node however what i'm doing i'm just getting rid of the almost unnecessary information like this all i'm interested in is this value and i'm passing this value only so I'm re-establishing message payload again. It's an empty payload, uh, only containing brightness, which is uh, and obviously taken from uh, this value. I could actually supplement this one for, for here, but for the sake of uh, clarity, I did it this way. And then you'll pass it back uh, to the topic of the uh, Zigbee to MQTT, name of the device and set. So that's your topic. So it's a very simple uh, really set up 
feel free to experiment with the limits uh, if you want to you can try maybe three messages per second maybe one mess per second depending what is really suitable in your circumstances but this is how you make the dimmer um, to operate now um, in my case the brightness going from uh, 0 to 255 maximum was enough to turn on and off so the light is off when the brightness is zero if you have a different uh, circumstances feel free just to add the state so you can add the state and then uh, you can either enable it or disable it so that's going to be on or off and you can add this if you uh, want to to make sure that the light uh, turns on and off again finally the ikea dimmer is useful to me uh, it probably was useful to you if you got yourself a set with the light bulb, however I wanted to link it to the lights I needed and uh, thanks to this setup you can link any uh, node red connected light, which is a lot of them. And uh, let's face it, the use of this is not limited to brightness only, you could even control uh, the brightness of the screen of your laptop, uh, you could control the ro royal blinds and probably a 10,000 different uh, scenarios that you can come up with having this information available in Node-RED. Now the next step is gonna be IKEA button, which comes with a nice five different buttons and I'm gonna show you how to replicate the same behavior. Uh, so I don't have a posting schedule, so do either follow me on social media or click that notification bell on the YouTube, you know how it works and you'll get the notification when that is out and i promise you a couple of awesome things for this uh, for now guys thanks so much for watching and uh, i gonna see you in the next video take care bye will i get it red come on get it red <laughs>